to Matters Arising in the Streets of Africa. Good morning to you and my name is Nelo and today being the ninth day of April 2021, we're bringing you various news from different newspaper headlines in Nigeria. So please go ahead and hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for free. That is if you're watching us from YouTube and if you're seeing us from Facebook go ahead and hit the like so you also be notified each time we upload like i said we we'll bring you different news headline on a very daily basis and the first on our list today is coming from the punch newspaper and the main headline here is kidnap epidemic gunmen abducts 18 in Ogun, oyo rivers imo and Katsina. And kidnapper weeks ogo, oh sorry, kidnappers with ogo doctor nurse away. NMA expresses concern, and gunmen kidnap Imu monarch. Five traditional chiefs, two palace guards, and Casina abducted man's corpse found after payment of ransom. Family mourns. So we have our marketers project petrol price reduction as oil falls and state police way out of banditry insurgency error five insists and MT meets residents doctor after eight day strike today so we have delta communities threatening to shut down oil firm over massive spill and CBN freezes another 194 firms, BDCs, and others' accounts. And MG approves 20 private facilities, says existing 197 is too small. And Para working with Lagos on dairy rice production, Abdul Razak. And PDP governors in Zamfara beg Matawale not to. This is not clear. An Ogun prophet arrested for alleged rape of 17 year old. Still not clear. An NIN inclusion delaying commencement of UTME. And I've, uh, I've uh, talked about that before. And I wonder is it that they are actually making it that all the students? That are to write down will be 18 years plus since they are asking them for their need registration. So, uh, this are more you can get from the Punch newspaper for today. And if you're interested in any of this news headline, check out the Punch or their website. And the next on our list is coming from the Daily Sun. And the main headline here is This course, police I met. Served and led Okiro now an insecurity responsible for break up agitation. FG An Aero Fire accuses military police of being reactionary and bandits giving not bad name. ACF We have ex governor mastermind of Imo attacks government and we have a uh, Still on that, police, who demand ignore DSS alert, says S. Director. And 2023 presidency, APC, not central leaders, want still not clear. And this quiet in Zamfara, APC, over Matawale's alleged plan defection. PDP negotiates with governor not to leave. And Adebayo celebrates release of adopted RCCG members. And Abia government shut down schools over bomb scare. And tension in Abia as police kill residents, destroy vehicles. A doctor strike reps summon MDCN registrar. So all this and more you can get from the Daily Sun newspaper for today. And if you are interested in any of these 
in news headline details you can check out the daily sun or their website and we have the next on our list is coming from the garden newspaper and the main headline here is garden publisher task worry on nation building and as as book on the garden is presented to the public demand stimulus package for newspaper industry and Osibanjo praises newspaper for speaking truth to power and Nigerian press play major role on nation building how Jatende died without documenting his enviable achievement Osuba and we still have a decentralized police power judiciary now Erofi tells LG and terrorists have lost right to live says Erofi ACF wants northern youth against reprisal attack attacks and army begins show of force in Imo after third attack in 72 hours uh, you are unusual first lady voice of conscience Osubanjo Tinibu your largest you are unusual first lady voice of conscience Osubanjo Sinibu, you are just a uh, sharp worry. And Senate falls unilateral conversion of COVID 19 panel. And North Central APC chieftains push for, for power shift to South. An ex militant on rampage in Odo set 17 houses ablaze. Cholera kills 25 in Bayasa, a state records over. 300 cases and this and more you can get from the garden newspaper for today so if you're interested in any of these news headlines you can go ahead and check out the garden newspaper for today and we have this one coming from the daily times and we have here clash of forces interest in isekiri land war in worry over olu's throne and Olu of Wari through how kingmakers pick Sola Emika as new Olu dis designates in Ode Isekiri amid controversy and nation building. All hands must be on deck to salvage Nigeria. And Senate says striking doctors should be held responsible for deaths of any patients. So these and more you can get from the Daily Times newspaper for today. And you can check it out if you're interested in any of them. And this is coming from the Daily Trust newspaper. And the main headline here is, Gunmen hit another police formation in Imo. A target area command in Abia. Raised community in Ondo. A doctor, a doc, doctor nurse in Osu. Three killed in Kwara and four along Abuja Lukuja Highway. In Nigeria's unity, existence under threat, FG. And bandits don't deserve to leave, air of fire. And other, other here is ignorance, poverty pushed herdsmen into crime, Nieti Allah. And uh, kidnapped Kaduna RCG members, five more students released. Aisha Buari's view, truthful but controversial, Usiban just said. And we have nurses, lab scientists, idle as doctor strike continues. Man kills ex lover, two children set self ablaze in Ibadan. Man kills ex lover and two children set self ablaze in Ibadan. Low public awareness of CBN intervention worries of Emifele and months thorn after discovering son's bride is a long lost daughter. Whoa. All this and more you can get from the Daily Trust newspaper for today. And if you're interested in any of these, you can check out the Daily Trust newspaper. And this is coming from the business thing. The main headline here is Global demand for talent shrinking Nigerians manpower and Nigeria's food inflation amongst 
world's highest. In Lagos, FCT, three other accounts for 53% e-payment in 2020. These are more you can get from the Business Day newspaper for today. And if you're interested in any of those business headlines, check out the business newspaper. Business day, yeah. So uh, we have um, this one on our list coming from the Premium Times. And the main, the first we have here is coming from Governor Gan Duji, how I escaped death in plane crash that killed many. And we have a Nigeria set moves against investment platform trading. Platforms trading foreign securities. And Nigerian Army confirms killing of 11 personnel in Benue. A boy in urges security agencies to defend themselves against assailants. And Osibanjo extols Alsha Buari's virtue as book on First Lady is launched. Aisha Buari's achievement makes First Lady office essential, Tinibu said. And Keleshi Indukwe becomes first Nigerian American, American, American captain of a U.S. Navy ship. Navy ship. Come again, Kelechi Ndukwe becomes first Nigerian American captain of a U.S. Navy ship. See, and bandits do not deserve to live. Arrow five. And we have uh, Governor Yahaya assures, assures of freedom of religious practice in Gobe. In Gombe. Ambuari says he is taking short rest in London, writes Jordanian Kings. Gunmen abduct Imo Monarch, entire cabinet. Why we are shocked over FG silence on court shutdown, NBA, Senate wants resident doctors to call off strike. Ambuari Ready for judicial autonomy, Governor. BONDG Hills rehabilitation of Portacourt refinery. And less than 2% of COVID 19 vaccines administered worldwide was in. Administered worldwide was in Africa, WHO. Global food price rises for 10 straight months. And how police arranged and remanded anti-Buari protesters in Kogi prison. Dangote and BUA rose pills over to sugar business amidst a allegation of policy breach. And uh, we have uh, uh, judiciary workers strike continues after meeting with. NBA. Missing Nigerian student found dead in UK pond. PDP postponed Southwest Congress. And gunmen attacked third police station in Imo in less than 72 hours. NSF, a new government, threatens to shut down festival, festival official, official said. Mbuari's late driver, not detained, tortured, SSS said. COVID-19, Nigerian government gives state condition to halt vaccination. UCL, five takeaways from quarterfinal first leg match. Nigerian tourists unjustly barred from Cape Verde demands justice. IMF urges sub Saharan Africa to increase tax revenue and orders. Court shut down judiciary workers to meet with NBA governors. And Southwest crisis, PDP moves to reconcile Fayose and Makinde 
So all this and more you can get from the Premium Times newspaper for today. So thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more news headlines. Do not forget to hit on the subscribe button if you're watching us from, from YouTube and if you're watching us from Facebook, hit on the like for more news headlines. I remain your girl, Lelo, and see you tomorrow. Bye.